it's Tony. We are at the Loudwire Music Awards at the PRS Backstage Artist Lounge. First and foremost, congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. It feels amazing. Amazing. How, how does it feel to receive the Lemmy Lifetime Achievement Award? It's, it's, so, um, it's so inspiring more than anything else, you know. Um, and it's so cool that you mentioned Lemmy right off the bat, as we say, in the UK, because Lemmy's music, his life, everything that we love about Lemmy is embodied in this award that they gave me tonight. And I think it's a, it's a wonderful gesture from Loudwire to attach Lemmy's name to the award because when it comes to achieving all the stuff that you do, um, as I said on, on the acceptance speech, you, you owe so much to so many people around you in music. And, uh, and particularly in Lemmy's case with Motorhead, I knew Lemmy from the Hawkwind days. So I've always kind of looked up to Lemmy in terms of the, the great kind of figurehead of, of, of the rock and roll world. And beyond that, it's, you know, it's a whole lot of other people that are connected to any kind of thing that you get in life in terms of an achievement. But to get it tonight with Lemmy's name, what a thrill. Excellent. Thank you for that. Um, what were you doing the moment you received word that Judas Priest potentially will be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame class for 2018? Um, I think I was... I think I was in f back at the house in Phoenix and somebody told me that it, it may be looming, you know. Yeah. They just give you a little tiny bit of a heads up. There's no promises, but there's just like get your ducks in a row, yeah. if you will. And uh, so I, I was buzzing, you know, because it's still and always will be a, a revered institution like the Baseball Hall of Fame, the NFL, anything that's, anything that's related that embodies people that have put their heart and soul into what they do and have, have tried to make a big footprint with their work. Um, to even be nominated in that class of people that is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is just tremendous. So we're keeping everything crossed that uh, yes. we may or may not get inaugurated. But even just to, even just to be associated by name is, is, is absolutely fantastic for a British heavy metal band in a great American institution like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You started the show with In This Moment performing Black Wedding, kicked off the show already, the performance to beat, of course. Um, what is it about, what is your favorite part about collaborating with musicians outside of your band? It's just refreshing and, and, and again, the thrill of working with other really talented musicians just keeps you kind of invigorated. I, I love what's happening in the current scene of, of metal. You know, I'm always looking on the Loudwire website and various other social platforms to, to I, I devour it. I can't get enough information on the new the new bands that are gonna keep the fire of yeah. of heavy metal alive. You know, it's like you pass the torch on through the generations and Priest has been what we call, what call, what we call flying the flag of heavy metal for over forty years now, you know. So um, yeah, I love it. I love it. I think Maria is sensational. She was. Oh my God, she's sensational. And um, I think that in terms of where they go next, you know, anything, you know, they're, they're just skyrocketing as they should because they're a very hard working band. They, they, they're so passionate about what they do and uh, good luck to them. Speaking of collaborations, um, do we have any to look forward to on Firepower, perhaps, you'd like to share with us? No, nothing on Firepower. We, we were very kind of um, in a kind of locked-in mode of, of really, really focusing strongly on, on, on making a really good follow-up to Redeemer of Souls. If you know anything about the way that Tom Allen makes a record sound, and, and to some extent the same with with Andy and Mike Exeter, who, who was on the, the last Black Sabbath uh, record. Um, all of those metal elements, those metal ears, the metal fingers that turn the, 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 the things on the, on, the, on the Pro Tools and get the best sounds possible, all of that is in the, in the music of Firepower. And it's really difficult to, to pin it down. Somebody asked me earlier, and I, you know, I was searching, and, and for me, when I listen to it now, it's got, it's got elements of Sad Wings of Destiny, of Painkiller, of British Steel.
but but in its own right it's got its own legs to stand on because this is our 18th studio album and I think each Priest album that we've ever made has, has had a very kind of defining character about its about its content so I think we've got that with, with firepower definitely excellent legend Rob Halford thank you so much for thank your you. time thank much you thank you everybody thanks thank you,